so let's say today is like uh, day three of the demo okay so day three demo session now today what we'll try to do is we'll try to make use of uh, aws components like uh, we'll try to play with aws s3 okay so we'll try to play with crawlers okay so we'll try to play with uh, aws glue okay uh, then we'll try to spin up the ec2 instance and uh, we are using s3 okay and we'll try to use uh, spark scala code okay we'll try to use spark scala code with um, with glue okay so this is what the agenda for today is let's see how to go step by step okay so let me go to my arena and let me just log in okay so i'm trying to log into my aws account <coughs> So once you log into your AWS account, the console comes over here. Okay. So if people have attended the day one session, they might be able to recall. Uh, I have done the coding on a small requirement. Okay. And that requirement was like to uh, let me just show that data. Okay. Quickly. Okay. So if you recall on <coughs> day one session, so what we have done is we have taken this as a file. Okay. And uh, we have uh we have separated this like into two different columns okay and we have separated into multiple columns that's what the small coding which we did on eclipse if we recall that so this was the code which we have written to achieve that scenario okay if you have missed by any chance you if you have missed day one session what you can do is you can take you can go to i have already uploaded that on youtube so you can go to do this okay. so here so we have done all like step by step mm -hmm. so See. i think there is no need to like if you go through this so all the code have been shown implicitly okay all the code have been implicitly typed over there and the input and output i have shown so let's come back to the aws part what we would be seeing today over here okay now what i'll try to do is first i'll try to spin up my ec2 instance if you remember that very day on the first day what i did is i created the bucket manually okay in a graphical user interface so today what we'll try to do is we'll try to use aws cli okay so with the help of aws cli i will try to move my file from my local file system to the aws and then from aws then i'll try to move from the aws home path to my aws s3 path and then i'll try to do some crawling on that uh, file i'll create a database and a table then i'll We'll use the same code which we have already written. We'll execute the job and we'll see the output. Okay, so that's what the agenda for today is. So let me open the S3. Okay, oh, sorry, not S3. I so we'll going. We'll, we'll be we'll be going with the EC2 instance. So let me open the EC2 instance. Okay, so I'll not explain everything what I'm trying to do. So just observe what we are trying to do. Okay, so I'm trying to launch a small free instance. Okay, so which is nothing but my Amazon Linux AM AMI okay which is a free okay so it's having a number of instances one so with the default properties as of now i'm just taking a 8 gb for my root volume wherein my all operating systems will be getting involved and there is a delete termination cool so let me add a tag so let's say this is name and let's say this is my ec2 instance machine so let's say my ec2 machine okay so machine and that is for demo let's Keep that as it is okay and uh, let's say I'm creating a security group this is like this. okay so what I was trying to do so I'm trying to create a security group so I have not created so let's say I'm just trying to name some security group so I'm telling that from the ssh which is nothing but the port number 22 which belongs to my putty okay i should be able to access my aws that's what it says that's the security group you can just review what are the things which we have given okay for me as of now it is fine okay now create 
there are couple of options not couple of options so choose an existing pair or create i already have my key pairs created if you don't have a key pair created you can say create a key pair and download it okay so you will get a key pair but i already have my uh key pair which is nothing but my safe key value pair okay which i have already created means in my previous session so it should be always available and let me launch this now what will happen is this is nothing but a small ec2 instance which will get launched okay let it get launched so we are not worried about it as of now okay okay so the first thing is like <clears throat> not here so what we have done is we have launched the ec2 instance okay so what we have done we have launched the ec2 instance now the second step is what we would be doing is okay with the help of aws cli command line interface okay so i would be creating a bucket okay after creating a bucket i would be uploading movies dot csv file inside that okay so that is what the second step which will have to do okay so let's see so let me just refresh this instance and we should get so it is just uh, picking up the things so let's wait for some time like maybe a uh, one or, or two minutes and hence once it is up so we'll try to connect with putty and we'll configure we'll try to connect with putty with this instance okay so let's refresh this it's saying running and let me click on this okay so here if you see i'm trying to get an ip okay let's copy that ip okay and what i can do is i can just go to my putty okay so i'll enter this ip address okay which is a public ip address and here in the authentication i just need to provide my ppk file which is nothing but the public private key okay so that's just a small thing which we needed so the default user is ec2 user okay and you get logged in to your machine let me just enhance the size mm, let's go with 12 looks good to me cool so whenever we open the ec2 instance we just need to update with the current settings with all the repositories so okay so as this is a ubuntu machine i just I will try a uh, type a small command called sudo update and hyphen y. Why I am trying to type that because I don't need to take a user's input. So automatically it will just take when it when the, it prompts for do you need to proceed yes or no. So it will take by default as a yes. Okay. So I'm just trying to do a default thing as of now. <clears throat> okay. So what I'm trying to do is all the necessary updates which. are available with the current repository so i'm trying to update all those with my current ec2 instance so it's it has been completed cool now what i'll try to do is second thing is i'll try to configure my aws cli okay so let's configure that so aws configure it's a small command so this okay so i think did i made some mistake yeah the there is a typo error okay so aws configure i need to say it will ask me for my access key secret key and which region i belong to and the default text so let's try to give step by step so i already have my access key with me so let me take that i already have my secret key let me take that i belong to a region called ap south hyphen 1 why i am taking this so if you go over here so the mumbai region okay so that is belonging to ap south one okay so that's where i am trying to give winger now by default it is text no need to give cool so the work is done till here so i have configured my aws cli okay i have configured my aws cli now what i'll try to do is i'll try to open a new service that is s3 okay let's open that s3 and if you see there is no bucket yeah there is one logs bucket so as of now apart from that there are no buckets okay so what i need to do is i need to create a bucket from here okay so we have some aws cli commands what i can uh, execute and i can create my bucket remember your bucket name are global okay so it should not be any name that are already existing so that's small care we need to take 
so what i am trying to do is aws s3 <coughs> ls so okay so i only have my s3 log safe can you see this i'm able to see that only over here okay cool so once i'm able to see that only what i can do is i can just create a bucket aws s3 okay i can just say mb which stands for make bucket okay when i need to create in the s3 okay and what will be my bucket name so let's say movie so i'll try to give us some unique name okay so movie lens hyphen bucket okay so i'm trying to give this name let's see if this yeah it it got created can you see this it is giving me a suggestion yes it got created so let me just refresh this okay so we are getting a movie lens bucket okay and if i go inside this remember in the first session what we did we just uploaded the file in a graphical user interface i told you we'll be automating this through some cli and etc etc so let's not use cli so let's not use graphical met method let's try to use a cli method okay now what i need to do is i need to push or i need to place my this file into my s3 bucket okay for that what i had to do is i am under my present working directory which is nothing but my default home location i need to bring that to this location how i will bring that i will use my winscp we know that with the help of winscp we try to move the files from the local environment to the a uh, we uh, uh, remote access okay so for that what i will have to take is um the ip address no i'll have to take the same thing so let's say someone is okay so now what so the bucket is created so let me just move the file okay so for moving the file what i need to do is let me go to my instance and let me copy this okay so i have copied that let me paste this over here <clears throat> the default instance is the ec2 user okay and let me go to the advanced tab in the advanced tab again i need to provide my ppk file let me provide the ppk file okay so the ppk file is been done and let me try to log in cool okay so i am able to log in so what i will do the movies.csv file to which i have so i just need to bring this over here and earlier i was not able to see any file over here hopefully now i should be able to see okay so what i have done from my local file system i have brought this file to my ec2 instance okay now from this path what i have done is i have created a bucket okay so i have created a bucket if you see i have just created a bucket but there is no file inside this so i need to copy this path copy this file from my home directory to my s3 okay so what is the command you will have to type simple aws s3 you will have to do cp okay so from this path this is the file i need to place need to copy everything so i need to place over here simple what i am trying to do i am trying to copy a file which is nothing but movies.csv from my home path okay to my s3 bucket path let's hit enter and let's see what happens so it says uploaded if if it says uploaded let me come over here we do not see anything and let me refresh this <clears throat> and can we see this movie.csv file yes we are able to see that so remember the day one session this we have done using graphical user interface by doing upload so today what we did we did with the help of ec2 instance okay we we spin up the ec2 instance we uh, configured the aws cli and then we made use of some cli commands command line interface commands okay cool so the second step is done now the third step what i will do is i will use crawlers okay so what are crawlers these are these are nothing but these are used to create the database and tables okay which will be which will be pointing to <clears throat> to your s3 bucket to your s3 bucket okay you can say and 
creating the data catalog okay let's not go into those jargons because that is not as of now so mandatory but let's see what we are trying to do cool so let me go to my let me open a new service which is nothing but the glue now remember that aws glue this service is a chargeable service okay once we finish the session i'll show you what are the charges but those are minimal charges okay so by default it takes eight minutes to process it okay and depending on the minutes of the time it is taking to get my job executed or my code executed we are charged on the basis of per dpu sorry per r dpu dpu it's nothing but your data processing unit okay cool so let now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to create a crawler so let me go over here I'm trying to create a crawler which will point to this bucket okay using this bucket it will analyze this movies.csv okay and it will create a table with this column names that's what I'm trying to do in this step okay let me add a crawler so let's say this crawler name is CW and uh, let's say it is pointing to my s3 okay and let's say I'm trying to read it whatever name you can give it's just a name your call yes use the data store okay so i'm trying to use an s3 as a source let's give a path let's highlight this and this is the path from this path i will be picking this file so we need to give the directory path done let's move ahead do i do i want to use as of now i don't have any other source so let's make a move okay now what it says is it says to give an im role now what is IAM role? IAM stands for Identity Access Management. Now whenever we want to communicate with one of the other services present in AWS, we need to have certain IAM role set. Okay. If you don't have IAM role set, you can create an IAM role and that's so they, though they are like very pretty easy. So I've already I should have already have my existing one. So I'm just trying to use that. So let's not invest time in that. So what it will do. I have just given a full access so that my AWS can access S3. That's what I have given. Let's move next. There are different frequencies. How you want to run this crawler? Run on demand, which means a user wants to execute it. Hourly, daily, choose your days, weekly and monthly is self-explanatory, which means that on a particular hour or a particular day or a particular day of a week or a month, you want to execute. You can choose that. Let's take next choose a database okay now i don't have any database as of now if you see this i don't have any database so it is just i'm having a default database and i having an access log db but for this table which i would be creating i don't have so let me add a database okay so let me add a database called movie lens underscore db any name you can give it's your choice okay if you want to see so let me just show you let me go to aws glue another console okay so if you just go over here i do not have any tables over here if i go over databases can you see i only database and s3 log okay so i don't have anything means i have but the database and the table which i am trying to create that is not available okay so let me come back so this database would be created okay fine cool let's say next and again it is telling me please can you evaluate what you have done yes i'm fine with it now the crawler is created once the crawler is created created i need to run it remember we have taken an option called run on demand so a user needs to execute it okay so run this crawler once you hit this now can you see this has started and can you see this is zero so it will take certain amount of seconds may it be like uh, 40 seconds or 48 seconds it depends on the aws uh, data centers and how the speed is there which I'm trying to access in this region okay so it will depend on that so let's wait for a table and a database to get created and I'll take the next step from there so let's pause for some amount of time or else it's okay not an issue so let's keep the recording so let's refresh so it says 38 seconds elapse and hopefully it should be up and running maybe in few seconds 
okay if you see now it has stopped and can you see there is one which says that the table is, let's go first to the database can we see earlier we were not able to see this now the database got created and uh, let's refresh this okay can you see a table got created and if I just point or oh, sorry if I just click on that we can see the metadata okay we can see the count etc etc all the details we can see okay so we are good with the second steps also we have created a crawler we have created a data database and we have created a table also okay cool the fourth and the most important thing is AWS glue this is a very important thing for to perform your ETL operations I can do all my ETL operations using Scala Spark or PySpark or Python shell okay these are the three options available to us okay we can use so I am very much well versed with Scala Spark and uh, we have already done the coding okay so if I have just show you so maybe like as I have already shown this we have already gone through this if you have not attended the day one scenario so go through the video so here like I have already done the coding okay so I'll not invest my time in coding because this coding was like step by step okay so if you just go through this video and if you just see so if you just see the screen let me come back a little so see this is the blank screen we started the coding right from the blank screen and if you come to a certain point so all the thing we have done is like we have seen all the coding in this so go through this uh, video wherein we have coded so I'll not invest time in my coding let's come to the AWS okay now here I need to create jobs okay so I need to create jobs that will be getting executed okay so that will be executed on the code okay so let's see that so let me add the job and I can give any name so let me say it's a glue job <coughs> and it is pointing to my let's say this is like movie lens glue job anything name you can give your call I have already created my I am role so no need for me to create it again okay so as I told you earlier I can execute in three different things can you see spark can you see streaming and I can Python as of now I'm using spark but here I'm trying to use <coughs> either you want to use spark with Python or you want to use spark with Scala okay so as I'm well versed with Scala and spark so I'll go with Scala spark there are many options over here okay so it is telling me a proposed script an existing script that you provide okay a new script to be authored by you okay anything so let's take a scenario wherein glue will be proposing a script to me let's take that scenario and I will copy my code and I will do the necessary changes and I will make the code running okay let's go to the next step <clears throat> okay so now cool so what it is telling choose a data source yes I will be using a data source remember this data source what we have created as a table and under this database so the table and the with the help of crawler I'm using that choose a schema use the existing schema okay so this schema would be used okay so if you see this will be the source schema and the target schema which is being mapped save job and edit script okay now if you see over here what glue have done is let me copy this and let me come to my and just let me go to alt vss so this is the scala okay so if you see the code is already being formed okay I don't need to do all the things so let me just remove this unnecessary comments let me remove this okay now glue has written some code for us okay which is pertaining to the glue okay so I need to make certain changes okay what are those changes means I what I need to do is I need to write my own code 
okay so i'll not invest time in writing the code because as discussed earlier that has been done in the day one go through that video explicitly i have shown i have typed it in each index and explain how we achieved this scenario okay so i'll not go into that so the code is already there here with me okay if you see this try catch block under this try catch block i already have the code okay so i just need to copy this piece of code which is required and i just need to paste under my data frame over here that's it nothing else you need to do okay so just need to paste this code and we should be available that's the only change we need to do okay so what you can do is you can copy this and uh, come to your aws glue and remove this there are certain changes which you will have to do is and what are those changes i will just show you those changes okay i'll just, I'll just format it and keep the code ready what are those changes is few changes is uh, hopefully now if you see what is the database okay if you go to my let me open a new console so that we can see okay so i'm just opening just to verify whether i'm trying to put all the information okay correct so if you see the movie lens underscore bucket so this is my so i need to change my database name okay if you see here it is like movie lens underscore db but here my date sorry i should have given taken my, so the database name is correct can you see movie lens underscore db okay so this is the database name which is given up that is these are the changes which you need to do according to your crawler and according to your s3 bucket i'm just trying to verify those things second thing is table name okay so what is the table name let me go to my table name so my table name is movie lens underscore bucket okay so let me just change my table name over here okay so i have changed the table name so this is the redshift temp directory i don't need to do okay anything over here so if you see this is the code so with, this is the code which is nothing but i have copied from over here so we have already done this coding so i am not doing those things over here and when i am trying to read okay so when i am trying to read where it should write okay we need to say that can you see s3 so i need to write on the s3 path where is my s3 yeah so under this bucket i need to write the data so what is the bucket name movie lens underscore bucket okay so let me go to my aws console and movie lens underscore bucket name is correct and let's say this is movie glue output okay so the out the, the data would be written under this directory okay so that's it so these are small changes which you need to do according to your glue okay save this job okay and execute this job okay now this will take approximately 6 to 8 minutes so i will stop the recording for that amount of time so why it is so the question is why it is taking 8 minutes okay so why glue takes 6 to 8 minutes to execute the job okay so the reason for this is behind or at the background what aws is doing is what aws is doing is it's spinning your emr cluster okay and this elastic map reduce okay so which is related to your hadoop spark okay so it will be spinning up your emr cluster Rem uh, i don't know whether you were available from the beginning of the session so remember we spin up the ec2 instance were you available sorry i joined you uh, yeah 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 okay so what we have done is uh, i'll just share the recording so what you can do is you can go through this recording what we have done is we have spinned up the ec2 instance manually so i was getting involved now i am not getting involved i am just writing the code i am just writing the code now aws is taking care of spinning up my e emr cluster and what yeah. emr cluster will be it will be like hadoop spark and under emr cluster nothing but my ec2 instance only are getting created once so, this gets created my ec2 will spin up and whatever the code which i have written that will be getting executed in this emr cluster so hence my aws glue is a serverless architecture where i don't need to worry 
about the infra infrastructure i just need to verify about my coding part whether my coding is working fine or not if working fine i can use my serverless architecture it will behind spin up the things execute it throw me the result and it will spin off the clusters so the amount of time it is getting executed i will be charged per dpu r that is data processing unit r so it is somewhere near dollar 0.44 cents okay so that is the charge you will have to occur okay so it is still executing let's wait so does this amount uh, of time uh, depends on the complexity of code no. or number of records or it will take this no uh, time it will it will take this time uh, in the uh, yeah. what glue what what aws has uh, uh, suggested that they will they are working on this part so uh, they have uh, means in the in the new release they have identified this and they have they have given a commitment so they might they are reducing this to a uh, time frame of uh, 2.5 minutes what they have came up with but still that is not being in the market as of now the mark, uh, time frame is like 6 to 8 minutes okay so let's wait till this is getting spent up so let me just pause for a second okay, so it will take time. see now what uh, for spinning up the cluster definitely it will take 6 to 8 minutes and the second question was depending on the data size yes it will take your data processing time but now in my scenario i'm just trying to spin up a small ec2 instance a small emr right it's just a i don't means i will not be able to show you the configuration but if you see this ec2 instance which i created it is just a small ec2 instance of a t2 micro if i go to the uh, mon uh, configurations or some storage part okay you'll get to see all like what is the things or what are the things which are available but if you talk about the production clusters okay so in production clusters you will not be using this t2 micro okay you will be okay. using your m5 c large clusters wherein you will have huge amount of ram and you will have you will have huge amount of storage capacities so ideally depending on how much you want to spend you need to do your work okay so it is getting executed so let's let's wait executed now and it is throwing some okay so it is now can we see some it is let me just copy this or let me copy the entire thing only because it is let me copy this and let me come to my notepad okay so this is the log as of now so if you just see i'm i'm just interested in this log okay if you see this is the log which i'm very much interested okay rest all like are the def jars which are needed so i'm not worried about that okay so if you see like uh, the number of executors okay what will be my executor memory how many cores will so eight parallel cores which are getting processed okay the number of driver memory is 10 gigabytes okay so this is like spark architecture the parallelism is this much how many shuffle partitions are being used etc etc and these are your jars okay supporting jars which is needed to convert your job okay so that is implicitly it has taken so let's not worry about it okay so let's come back to your clue and let's see what it is doing okay so it is so application master okay so it is still running so and now it has started now it should finish in like in yarn logs so it should finish like in less than a minute okay if you see it took eight seconds to finish yeah and it is completed now my code is completed okay and let me just scroll it okay so the code is completed code is completed which means if i go to my s3 there should be a folder <coughs> should get created okay let me just okay so we did not have anything why okay so we did not get any error also right so standard output error so waiting completed so successfully log out and what was the bucket name so the bucket name is nothing but s3 movie lens hyphen bucket and what is the bucket name Okay, 
so did it created a new bucket yeah if you see uh, the bucket name was incorrect so let me go to the new bucket okay can you see the output ideally i should have given the existing bucket but somehow i missed this but that is not a concern what it did is it created a new bucket okay if you see my earlier bucket was movie lens bucket i have created this bucket using aws cli okay ideally i wanted the write the output over here itself but somehow i missed the coding part but that is fine that's not a concern but i'm getting my output if you see movie lens underscore bkt got created if this name would have been existing it would have thrown an error so let me take this and if you see i'm able to get a directory under this i'm able to see the uh, let me download this data so let's download this and uh, if i download this and let me just see the data can we see so if you see year sorry the title and the year got separated and this was the generous column okay so it got separated so this is the same code which we have done on day one okay so there is no change so if that code is working definitely the aws glue code will also work okay so it means my aws glue job got successfully completed okay you get all the logs over here you can go through all the logs and you can verify so if you just click on this just click on this part okay and just make this up there are logs over here go through the logs so this is like and we can create the cloud watch also cloud watch and cloud trail for a logging so see if you see all the logging is available so whatever logging you want to see okay you can go through this logging etc you can expand this and you can see so remember i was telling some configurations it used this configurations wherever it was like bucket temporary files which were getting created the compilation got completed okay the again the etc etc if any errors are coming you can go to this log find out the issues as it was successfully completed for me okay so i did not have so it was successfully stopped okay it did not had any issues so my job was successfully completed okay and i was able to get the result okay so this was the demo for today so wherein like uh, i was trying to get like uh, the data uh, what i have done is i have spin up the ec2 instance okay after spinning up the ec2 instance what i have done is i have created a uh, i have uh, i have using the aws cli i have configured that i have with the help of winscp i pushed my file then i copied the uh, bucket uh, i put this file to my bucket then with the help of crawlers okay with the help of crawlers i created a database and a table then i have written a small logic okay so which is nothing but a script okay so the logic was written inside this and I, the code was already pre written in the day one so i have just made use of copy paste and that and i executed that it almost took 6 to 8 min minutes and finally i was able to see the result and i was able to see the data any questions so what i'll do is i'll just log off from this and i'll just show you how the charges come okay they they are like minimal charges okay so i need to log in to my root account this was my a uh, user account so let me go to my user <coughs> so this is my parent account which is nothing but my administrative account so okay so i'm just trying to and i have just given a multi factor authentication mfa okay so somehow someone tries to steals it so it should not be able to so it's like a security like how we have in projects 11 so i'm trying to give some code which will come on my mobile okay so i have configured in that manner so it's 114 and 144 let me submit this okay so the password is incorrect let me just enter the password again and again it is asking for the mfa code no issues let's give the mfa code 562806 okay so it is allowing me to access you need to go to your billing dashboard okay now don't don't uh, get a uh, panic by seeing this charge okay so this is not the actual charge okay so i keep on trying things okay so that's why i keep on getting things 
so if we just go i will show you like uh, like if you go to the builds okay so if you see this like uh, which services are getting charged so i always do etl operations so if you i remember i was telling like dpu per hour data processing per unit hour so it is costing me 0.44 cents okay so that is what is required sometimes it's it took me 0.24 sometimes it took me 9.66 something something okay so you can monitor your charges also okay so there are places wherein you can see all the bills related to your thing so these are my pending bills which i need to pay okay but again that is not a concern so i just needed to show you one thing which i am not able to get it and that is yeah so here you can see all your charges like for all your months okay whatever like so if you see i got a charge of 123 rupees for the month of june if i go to the month of july i got a charge of 360 in the month of august if you see i got a charge of 784 let's see why are these charges are there if you see aws glue is there and i was trying some uh, advanced concepts of msk and uh, uh kinesis okay so if you see i was trying to see manage streaming for kafka okay so kafka is nothing but your streaming wherein the data i am trying to get from my iot devices if you see so this is just closed so i need to open a if i'll go let me open my okay that is fine that's not an issue so let's not go into depth so you can just monitor or you can just see what are the charges which are being incurred by which services if you remember on the day one i have already told there are three types of services so first type of services is that is free throughout the lifetime of this account the second type of services is the, those services which are freely available only for a period of 12 months and also to a limitation of per month usage and the third services are those services which gets charged right from the word go so today we have seen that service aws glue so depending on the processing unit per hour i am getting charged and that is nominal so it comes around like 64 rupees or 24 rupees sometimes like that okay so that's what for that's what was uh, for the demo for today so wherein we used all the aws concepts like aws s3 crawlers glue ec2 instance and we have used spark scala coding with glue okay so i'm just stopping the session so any questions